All right, we're gonna go right into our step kick. At least that's what I think it is called, all right? So basically, we are trying to get low to high position. It's commonly used as a sparring technique. I wouldn't say complete self-defense. It's more about speed, less than about power, okay? Very simply, coming low high, one, two, okay? Side view, low high, okay? Now, that was showing full speed. To do it, there's a lot, obviously, to it. It's a little more complicated. So, like we talked about earlier tonight, to get the guy to think low, the first thing I gotta do is throw this low kick here. Throw my hips forward, thrust them forward, shoulders back, and everything square to the guy. To really think, I'm coming with like a thrust kick. When I drop the attack, I'm trying to get that from my opponent. I wanna get that. So if I start to do this low kick and turn here like so, he's gonna see this. And look, when you're blocking roundhouse kick, if you have a good guard, that's it. There's not much to block roundhouse kick unless your just hands are down here. Most people, if they have a good guard here, it's not much. So I need this to come here. So if I could get this, thinking of the front kick, keeping it low, this is harder to get back to. If I turn again this way like so, remember, the guy's going to think the attack is coming sideways. All right, so that's the first step. Now, we want to get to that what I call the hitch. Body is square. One, two. Trying to get back to that roundhouse kick position. Body is straight, and I come to roundhouse kick position. All right, I don't want to go out back here, then turn here. It's going to be too late. This is like a one and a half kick. I'm doing a half a front kick. It's not coming all the way back to front kick position. It's coming back to roundhouse kick position. That's the hardest part. You want to feel your foot is bouncing off like a rubber wall, like I was saying. As soon as you hit that wall towards the guy's shin, you're going to bounce with your hip turning, ready to go for the kick. Now, if you can get that, obviously, from the low position, you turned your hips, you use your toes to get your hips moving. Your legs are crossed. Now we just add the kick, okay? Low, up. Another way to practice to get to this kick without the hitch is just try to keep your leg out, guys, this way. From this position, retract your leg, kick, all one motion from, from there, like so, okay? And the idea, one, two, put it together. Again, very simply put, I want to get this guy to drop so I can create an opening up top, okay? Again, it's a lot easier said than done. There's a lot of body mechanics that have to work. So he goes like this and doesn't go like this because then the high kick is probably not going to happen, all right? Step kick. At least I think it's called that. 